it's about eliminating the, the cost of coordination, right? I try to examine the psychological barriers to organizational change and how these barriers can be overcome. The job is easy, the people are not. Exactly, absolutely. Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Professor Ambra Mazzelli from ASD Eclipse. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the things that she gets to do in the executive program at ASB Eclipse. How are you, Ambra? So good to see you. Oh, so good to see you. Thanks for having me. So, Ambra, you have a really, really interesting background. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what is it that you do at ASB and what is it that you do at Eclipse? So my name is Ambra Mazzelli and I'm an assistant professor of management and organization at the Asia School of Business and an international faculty fellow at MIT Sloan. I'm originally from Italy and I've lived and worked in the UK, Canada and the United States. My job is my passion. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> we all know that. Your, your job and your cat, right, Ambra? <laughs> exactly. exactly. So, Ambra, you have a very exciting title to the program that you're teaching. It's called People Purpose Performance. People Purpose Performance. What can you tell us about this fascinating program? So the People, Purpose and Performance program is part of the marketing and strategy track. And uh, the purpose of this unique course that you'll only find at ASB's Eclipse is to help the organizational leaders to restructure the organization in order to make them, first of all, more efficient more efficient in terms of eliminating or cutting all the coordination costs that are very common in organizations. More effective in terms of providing employees with the right incentives, but also more adaptable in terms of ensuring fit between the organization and the external environment that in these challenging times is very crucial. It's so interesting you said it's it's about eliminating the the cost of coordination, right? Which all of us we know it's it's actually quite taxing on on a lot of us. So um, I've known you for a, a long time now. Like you said, your job is your passion. Uh, what exactly makes you passionate about this subject? So my research in general is about organization organizational change and uh, more specifically I try to examine the psychological barriers to organizational change and how these barriers can be overcome. And uh, perhaps one of the most important drivers of change is the motivation. Hmm. Some of the questions that I'm trying to examine, for instance, include how the conflicts between organizational and individual goals can hamper change and adaptation in organizations, and how organizations can manage multiple goals and ensure alignment across diverging goals. And in addition to this, I'm also very intrigued about the role of intrinsic motivation. So as an academic, trust me, you need a lot of intrinsic motivation to keep up with research. And uh, as an organizational leader, I think that uh, ensuring that your employees uh, have a purpose uh, is uh, really crucial nowadays. I think, Amra, you heard me say this many, many times. The job is easy. The people are not. Exactly. Absolutely. So in this, in this course of yours, from what I understand is, we're trying to understand what makes people easier in a way, right? What, what gives us gives us motivation on a Monday morning to wake up and be ready for those 10 Zoom meetings. <laughs> Correct, so easier and motivated to achieve organizational goals. So if you think about a specific organization or somebody who works for an organization who wants to take this program, uh, what business challenges do you think you're addressing in this program? And, and let's say also this is an important question, who should take this program? I think that there are some common pitfalls when uh, uh, organizational leaders try to design their organizations. And that these include, for instance, uh, uh, not being able to set up clear goals. Okay. Well, sometimes organizational leaders reward A while hoping to obtain something completely different, while hoping to obtain B. 
or maybe sometimes they reward the outputs uh, and they don't consider efforts or uh, and uh, again they sometimes ignore the power of intrinsic motivation and uh, non-monetary rewards and so the program is uh, designed to make uh, these mistakes uh, explicit uh, and propose ways to address these pitfalls and uh, I believe that the program is perfect for general managers, but also senior functional managers uh, who manage uh, and coordinate uh, diverse groups uh, or groups of diverse uh, people, individuals. And it can also benefit uh, uh, HR managers uh, and staff executives uh, who manage, for instance, employee training and uh, uh, personal development. So, Professor Ambra, this sounds really, really interesting. You taught this course before in the past. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what type of impact participants feel that they got from this program, or what type of feedback they give you at the end of uh, at the end of this uh, people purposes uh, people purpose performance program? So we are, you are right, we offered uh, a short version of the program last year and the uh, participants said that the program helped them uh, uh, reconsider the, the importance of dedicating time to clearly formulate their organizational goals, but also reconsider the importance of the interplay between uh, organizational strategy, organizational design, and uh, the incentive systems. Uh, and uh, pleasantly and recently, one of the participants reached out to me to let me know that uh, the content uh, helped her to restructure the organization and also ensure uh, employees in their company stay motivated, motivated uh, during the COVID crisis. So this for me was uh, like a very rewarding uh, and uh, an amazing achievement, I think. Oh, absolutely. And if you think about it, I don't think there's one company on the planet these days that did not have to do a reorg, a massive change, uh, finding again a lot of intrinsic motivation. If you think about all the extra hours of work that we have put during this, this crisis, do you have any final words to, to say to people who are interested in your program? Oh yes, of course. Uh, let's get smart and sharp at ASB together.